Hi, my name is McCall Neenan, and you're watching Noob School. In this first example, we'll be talking about a more basic slide. It's called the baseball slide. What you want to do, you run to the bunker you want to go to, you drop down on one knee, you slide on that knee, and then you pop back up and get your gun up. This is what that should look like. While you're running, try to keep your upper body as still as possible. This will keep your gun more steady, allowing you to make more accurate shots. At the bottom of the slide, you can use your body's forward momentum to get yourself back up on your feet. In this next example, we'll be talking about Superman dives. What a Superman dive is used for is generally for snake players when they have to get into a really low bunker. What it is is when you run full speed to your intended target or your intended bunker and you dive with your arms in front of you and you land on the ground just like this. So we're going to show you what that looks like right here. Okay, here we go. Just kidding about that last part. Oh my god, my love handles. I think I just broke them. Here are a few pointers when doing the Superman dive. First off, you're not jumping into a pool, so you don't want to jump off your feet and then onto your elbows. What you want to do is, as you're running, slowly lean your body weight towards your elbows, and then as you're running, get lower and lower towards the ground. And then, from there, shift your weight onto your elbows and then execute the slide. The type of surface that you're diving on plays a really big factor in how far you'll be able to slide. Make sure that before practicing these dives, you invest in a good pair of elbow pads and knee pads. You'll need them. Alright, now with the Superman dive, what you want to do is, before you dive into your bunker, you want to be looking down the field. Because you also want to see where your opponents are shooting their lanes. In some cases, if you can see where the lane is right before you dive into your bunker, Sometimes you, have, you can make that split-second decision to either jump over that lane or get a little bit lower and go underneath that lane. So it really does help to look downfield. Now here's a slide that isn't necessarily the best option. It's what we call the two-knee slide, which pretty obviously is uh, when you just run forward and you drop down on both knees and you slide on both of them. Now the reason why this isn't necessarily a good choice for sliding is it's very possible that you'll, you'll, you'll lose your balance and you'll just fall right on your face or fall right on your gun. And another thing is it's hard to transition from this position. When you're on both knees, it's hard to get up quickly and then start running. You always want to have at least one foot planted. Okay, so that's it for today's episode of Noob School. I'll see you soon.